guys, my name is Stefania. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, which you probably are, I do a mix of beauty videos along with fashion and workouts. Uh, I am a trainer. I passion, my passion. Uh, my passion is fitness, uh, my main passion, and that is my career. So um, I do want to help you guys out as much as possible. I feel like um, feeling good about yourself starts with the outside, not in a shallow way, but like as long as I feel good about my body and what I'm putting in it, and then along with makeup or clothes I'm wearing, it just all kind of meshes together for me. So um, it starts for me with working out and feeling good about myself uh, and about my body. But anyways... Today is going to be an exercise just based on one band. It's going to be a full glute workout. Uh, you can just take these exercises as you want, meaning like if you would rather just throw these in throughout your leg day or a different day, you could also just do this workout at home. Um, you can purchase this band on Amazon or you can purchase the elastic ones. In the video, I will have an elastic band, um, but this slingshot band is probably my favorite and I did get it off Amazon. It's just sturdier than those and they don't stretch out as much as the other ones do. So, um, but yeah, I think it was like 22 bucks. Amazon Prime, you should do it. Because at Walmart, I checked at Target and they were like 20 bucks for like the cheaper version. So um, I think there's like some other brands that are pretty affordable as well. Like I said, this is only 23 bucks and this lasted me over a year. So I would recommend these. Um, my top tips for growing glutes is one, being consistent, I have a hard time with that just because glutes are not my favorite. Um, but I do try to force myself to do at least a few glute exercises two to three times a week. Um, going heavy, like I said, this is just gonna be a band workout, but I throw these in along with my heavier lifts. Um, so this is a very beginner friendly because we're not gonna use much weight in this at all. Uh, you could just do this at home. So super convenient or at a hotel, um, or you can just mix in with your heavy days. but. I hope you guys enjoy this workout. If you have any questions, um, leave them down below. Make sure you do these exercises, press through your heel the entire time, um, and making sure that you're not feeling any of these in your lower back. Usually that's the biggest mistake I see with kickbacks, donkey kicks, any glute exercises is people are kicking their leg up way too high. Like you don't need to do that. You should just do it to where you can feel a really good squeeze um, because the point is to not use your back and then you're disengaging your glutes altogether. So um, make sure you take your time and remember this is a process. It's going to take you time, but be consistent and you will get there. So these are my favorite glute exercises and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's any other workouts that you guys are wanting to see and we will get right into it. All right, guys. So you are going to start with monster walks. You're going to take about 15 steps forward and back. You're going to stay in a squat position with a band right above your knees and you're going to try to limit that your hips from swinging side to side. I tend to struggle with that especially when I get a little bit bored it's just more fun or when I'm listening to music my hips just kind of start moving in all directions um, but really try to keep yourself from swinging side to side and just focus on going back and forth. Make sure you really keep your chest up you don't want to be leaning over too much just think of it as the same thing as a squat you are just moving. And like I said, uh, I try to keep my hands together or else I tend to swing my hips around a little bit more, but that could just be me. Uh, the slower you go, the harder it's going to be, whereas the faster you go, the easier it's going to be. In each of these exercises, you are going to do about three sets of 15 to 20 reps. Next, we are going to do kickbacks. Uh, you're going to kind of get into a mini squat position against a wall or a post or just anything you could really hold on to. Focus on squeezing that glute as you come back. And like I said, you're not going to kick your leg up too high. You shouldn't be feeling it in your lower back. You should just be pushing enough to feel that glute squeeze and really make sure you focus on that squeeze. That's the whole point of this exercise and lead with your heel. So you can always make it harder by doing a harder band or uh, adding in another band as well. Next, we are gonna go seated abductors. So you're gonna lean forward slightly while sitting on a bench. This is mimicking the same thing as if you would do an abductor machine. So nice and slow. I'll show you guys another view so you can see my feet. Um, and you're going to just 
place those feet together. So nice and slow uh, coming out. And obviously if you wanna do some holds in there, it will make it a little bit harder. Next, we're gonna go into glute bridges. So I did grab a weight for this because I wanted it to be a little bit more challenging. If you're at home, you can always just do this uh, without a weight, or you could always grab like, you know, something you have around the house that's weighted like a water jug or something. Uh, you're gonna go heels together for the first set and then feet wide apart for that second set. Both times, making sure you are squeezing your glutes at the top. You can also add in holds on this to make it a little bit harder. And really make sure you focus on pressing with those heels the entire time. So obviously I'm taking a little breather, and then we are gonna go into marches. Same with this, you're pressing through the heel, feet elevated, and um, really squeezing that glute every time you lift. Uh, you can always make this easier by doing it without the band and then make it a little bit harder by adding in a weight like we did the last exercise. It's completely up to you, whatever you can do. I just try to do high reps and then I'm usually pretty good. Next exercise, you're gonna roll right over and you're gonna do donkey kicks. Make sure you keep your back completely flat really focus on uh, that heel. So same thing as if we were doing the one standing, this is just another variation of that. Uh, and same exact thing, you shouldn't be feeling these in your lower back, making sure you squeeze that glute at the top. And like I said, everything today is gonna be high reps since we're not really doing much weight, but you should really focus on that squeeze. Um, and then like I said, you can always throw this in between other leg exercises if you don't feel like doing a full glute day. Next, we're gonna do standing hip abduction. So you're going to focus that leg a little bit back. So I'm not going straight out to the side. I really wanna hit that glute medius, so that middle part of your glute. So angle your leg back slightly and then just kick straight out until you feel that resistance. I tend to not be able to go that far out, uh, and I don't need to. So really just focusing so I can feel that squeeze. And then I kind of decided that I wanted to skip that exercise. This is another variation of an abducting machine. I'm not going to do a whole lot of these. Um, but you're going to sit in a squat position, bring those knees apart. And then we are going to go into some jumps here. You can always add this in uh, throughout the exercises just to get your heart rate moving. And this is gonna be one of our last exercises. So I do about five and then you're gonna do turn five, turn five, turn five. And then for our last exercise, we're just gonna do some pulse squats um, and you're gonna do about 10 to 15, depending on how tired you are. That band is gonna add some extra resistance and you're literally just staying very low. You're not going into a full. All right guys, that is it for my glute workout just using a band. I hope you guys enjoy these exercises. Um, like I said, you can always make them harder by adding in more weight or just throwing them in throughout your leg exercises, your leg day or whatever day you're doing. Um, they make great like little accessory workouts and they don't take up a whole bunch of room. So you can usually pretty much do them anywhere in the gym, just carry your band with you. Um, and that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. I really hope you guys enjoy this and thanks so much for your guys' support. Bye. I just went to the dentist and I feel like that stuff so hot in here. That's why I had to put my hair up. It's already summer in Arizona. April 1st hit summer. It's gonna be a long summer. I say that every year and every year. Guess what? It's like eight months out of the year. It's summer here. I don't know why we live here. I can't deal with the cold though, so I guess that's why, but um, everything's dead, brown, and hot. <laughs>